Battle Royale in the women's division for the introductions, Justin Ladies Roberts. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our first championship bout to determine who will be the next women's middleweight champion and owner of the coveted WAL championship hammer. The field consists of four competitors who will compete in a semifinal best of three match with the winners competing head to head in a best of five match to determine the champion. Introducing first to the pit, competing out of Syracuse, New York, standing at five feet, six inches tall, and weighing in at 154 pounds, she is one of the most decorated WAL competitors with multiple titles and an impressive record of 25 and seven. She is the current WAL middleweight champion, the Black Scorpion, Michelle Dugan. And her opponent is among along the line of amazing Swedish arm wrestlers. Competing out of Luxella, Sweden, this extremely versatile competitor stands at five feet, two inches tall, and weighed in at 142 pounds. She is Victoria Bicky Carlson. Our second semifinal match features two world-class competitors. Introducing first to the pit, from Tudorakan, Bulgaria. She stands at five feet, four inches tall, and weighs 121 pounds, Dimitrina Petrova! And her opponent in this semifinal match competes out of Ensam Heaton, Sweden, which translates to the solitude. She stands at five feet, seven inches tall, and weighed in at 151 pounds. She is a top ranked middleweight everywhere in the world. And in 2016, she was the first woman to win two WAL championship hammers. She is currently undefeated in WAL competition. She is Korea. All right, the introduction's complete, Neil. Back to a battle royale format. And we'll take a look first at Michelle Dugan and Vicki Carlson. Tail of the tape, what grabs your eyes the most amongst the particulars on them? To be perfectly honest, it's that size difference. I mean, you could see it when the ladies walked out there. The Black Scorpion has the height, she has the levers. She's got to make this about the top roll. Vicky Carlson, super powerful on the inside, shorter lever. She loves to get into dog fights. This could be interesting. Ladies, to the table. Right, very good. So there's Michelle Dugan. Out of Syracuse, New York. Okay, Some advantages up. here for Bring this in. Michelle. She's experienced at the World Arm Wrestling Double League. And that counts for a lot early on. We haven't seen her tested yet. Close your hands. Go. Big drive, ah. powerful hand. We're looking for the strap. I think that's a key thing, really, with uh, Michelle Dugan. Uh, you know, she looks the part. She looks so powerful. She's run through her previous opponents. Uh, and that leaves a lot of questions, you know. You don't know where her potential is. In the immortal words of my wife, how big does this thing get? <laughs> yeah. Her husband looking on. A little nervous at the moment, but everybody up there is going to be nervous early on. But Michelle looked good in that start. She had hand control. The strap can change things. Victoria will look to turn her inside to make this about arm on arm. Michelle's way a little bit. Good. Close your thumbs. Close your hands. Go! Yeah! Big drive. Oh, Dugan all day. Big that time. was great from Michelle. That's exactly what she needed. And her hand and wrist was rocked from yeah. there. No give there. Quick, quick work there. Is Storm Cellino down in her corner as well, helping out. He's known for that hand and wrist strength himself. I'm sure we'll see evidence of that later on. But a dream start for the Black Scorpion. And, uh... and the other side, Vicky Carlson. It's right underneath you, sir. 
The nerves will be really peaking now in Vicky Carlson's corner. Oh, riser. Okay. Yeah. The, the, the athletes have an opportunity, if they feel low at the table, to use the riser up to five inches in height to give them that additional height. And this could be a big thing. 45 seconds. So they get that in place. And take a look at some of the vital stats here on these two. What we, grabs we, your eyes here? We talked about the requirement to hit the hook for Victoria Carlson. That's where she feels really good. That technique requires her to be close and tight. The big thing there is at only 5'2", she does a disadvantage on a table that's built to suit a man of six feet in height. That riser gonna give her the opportunity to get closer, tighter. She obviously feels that if she can get onto the arm of Michelle Dugan, that she's okay, ladies, a far better table, chance please. of success, and I couldn't agree more, but great start from yeah. the Scorpion there, and uh, she looked really comfortable. I mean, that wasn't sort of a, there was no staggering, there was no jerking, it was smooth, it was controlled, very effective. Dugan trying to put it away here. Uh, both going early, yeah. offsetting. Really Close your early thumbs. start there. And Square up the show. <laughs> Close your hands. Go! There's the drive, a lot better from Vicky. Much, much better. Victoria able to keep some purchase there. This is going to be interesting now because the strap sort of makes you have more opportunity to utilize the arm strength. And one of the biggest factors here is the experience of the Swedish girls. Yeah. These girls have an absolute talent pool over there of people to train with. Michelle doesn't have that same luxury. She's training often with men. That enhances her power, but not necessarily her technique. It doesn't allow that refinement. Michelle Dugan, a look of focus and determination, trying to win and advance to this women's battle royale final. Fascinating story from Close Michelle. She's had a serious illness and come back victorious. Oh, that's done again. Wow, that was solid. Questions answered. That was yes. coming. Michelle Dugan there. I mean, you couldn't have wanted more from her. She knew what she needed going into that match and she dominated. That's a great performance. Let's look back at a. Quick match and quick victory for Michelle Dugan. We said when we were looking at the tail of the tape that she needed to keep the height and she needed to make it about the top roll. That is exactly what she did. Look at that. Textbook domination of the hand and wrist. Victoria Carlson unable to get close enough to get anywhere near the hook. That's a great performance from Michelle. Camp Dugan happy. Yes, indeed. And as we said earlier, with the lightweight battleground, puts her in fabulous position, Ben. She's clean going into the next round. Let's go, Team Sweden. So, Fia Rysik steps in now. Dan Stimitrina Petrova will take a peek at the tail of the tape here real quick. Neil, what's the big thing to look for here? Bigger girl in Fia Rysik, more experienced girl, but look at that weight difference. 151, 121. Every other area is similar. Dimitrina Petrova has one silver bullet here. She must set the hook. Sofia Rysik there, the okay. top woman in Sweden. To the table. Top in the world. She really is. I mean, okay, this is a up. dominant arm hands, wrestler. And yeah. It's interesting how she Down feels the pressure there. Right is there. it going to be Close your thumbs. manifest itself Close in confidence, or will she Jump. feel... Oh, oh, great start. Yeah. Notice that... Dimitrina sacrificed the hand and wrist to get the strap. That's what she's looking for. And this is a girl with real pedigree. Multiple national, European, and world champion. So she's a banana skin, you know? Fia Rysik, I, I, I was having breakfast with her this morning, and Fia was feeling this. She was, you know, she said, everybody expects me to win so easily. You've got to remember, she's competing against a multiple world champion. This yeah. is not a walk in the park. Yeah. It's never ease, as easy as it looks. It's certainly not, Ben. And uh, Rysik, while right she's there. got Close your big advantages, right she also has Close that ever-present threat. One foul, throwing in. Middle. One foul on Fia. Turn of the wrist from Fia. Close your thumbs. She felt the power there Close from Dimitrina. Go! On the way we go! Oh, Dimitrina has had the hook! Yeah. Now we are on. This is great for the 
Bulgarian. She's so powerful inside. I'll tell you what, Dimitrieva's got this. Wow. That's the pin. And the Bulgarian showing what she's capable of. By no means is this match done and dusted. But we said in the tail of the tape that Petrova brings a threat. The threat of the hook is very, very real indeed. And for the first time in her career in the World Arm Wrestling League, Fia Reisik has to ask herself the question, what can I do? What changes, what adjustments are possible to prevent that from happening? One minute, one minute. She only has one more arrow, Ben. Yeah. One more <laughs> shot. <laughs> That's the smooth. That's the three here in the Battle Royales. An interesting fact yeah, about the Bulgarian minute. guys, these fellas train very differently. They don't go into the gym and lift weights. They live by one theme, and it's that if you want to be a good arm wrestler, arm wrestle. Yeah. If you want to be a good tennis player, play, play. tennis. Yeah. That's what they do. Yeah. This isn't about weightlifting. It's about going in there and trying to just increase your physical strength. It's about doing that at an arm wrestling table so that the familiarity up there yep. is honed. Especially subject arm wrestling. No and question. Dimitrina is performing well and under massive pressure. Big time, leading one nothing. It's a best of three here in this ready? second yeah. okay. semifinal. To the table. The winner will face Michelle Dugan, who won two nothing in her match against Vicky Carlson. Petrova trying to make it a clean sweep, but against the best in the world, it won't be easy. And Rysik, Rysik starting with a more open position. She's head. looking to try to utilize more speed. Wow, Woo. there it was. Oh, very close. Wow, that was close. Wow. Yeah, she was really close, and that was a great start. But the difference is, now that the strap is applied, that's going to allow that side pressure to connect far earlier from Petrova. Fia Rysik has been stung. She's been knocked down. But from that evidence, it looked like she got up pretty good. You can see the focus right now etched all over her face. Dimitrina, similarly, this isn't a woman who talks it up, you know, Dimitrina. They say it's the quiet ones you've got to watch for. She hasn't said a damn thing for three days, <laughs> Ben. For three days? Three whole days, <laughs> she has not spoken. Close her hands. Whoa, 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 whoa yeah. sweet child of mine. Yeah. Yeah. Hold her off center. That was a little early, but... Yeah. Here, down here, down here, right here. I'll do it. Yep. Dimitrina was in a great position there as well. When that match stopped, she set the hook, so... Square up. A little scary for Fioresic. She cannot make a mistake now. Close your hands. Go! On the way we go! Oh, oh, wow, 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 wow. None there. there. None at all, Neil. <laughs> wow! Champion's response, mate. Big time. Champion's response. Oh, one, one. Look at that again. As Dimitrina heads to her corner to speak to Krasimir Kostinin off her coach. There's the drive. And look at the angle. It was sort of a half moon arc. You can see that Fia Isaac's elbow takes almost a half moon shape. She drives around and then back to the far corner. You see that? She sort of circles, semi circular here. She drove around the wrist and hand of Petrova, wouldn't let her set the hook, and then swept across, drove her to the pad. Great. Equalizing pin, showing the caliber of what we've got at the table. Very interesting for Michelle Dugan is the fact that whilst we've seen this match swing back and forth, it's done so quickly. Yeah. Nobody's got scars. We're not seeing another sort of Hogland match. Mendes. This is yeah. a very different set of uh, set of rules and criteria up here. These guys are punch counter punch, but it's speed, it's precision. Yep. Finesse arm wrestling. You see the big swallow there from Dimitrina, that yes. little gulp. Yes. Those are the telling signs. And look at the big smile by contrast breaking on the face of Fioresic. So down to 20 seconds before they're going to be back to the table. We'll have the decisive the table, third ladies. poll coming up. The winner will advance to take on Michelle Dugan. Here in this women's Watch battle royale. The uh, right there. defeated. She's lost her first this, pin okay? Close in your the World Arm Wrestling League Go. tonight. Wow, big drive again. Total and utter dominance on the hand and wrist from Fioresic, but that won't concern Dimitrina. Petrova wanted the strap. That's where she lives. She can close that space down. She wants this to happen in a phone box. Triangle there, looking over the shoulder of Victoria Carlson. Very close-knit arm wrestling community with the Swedes. 
and Fia Racic focused on the job in hand. The Bulgarian Dimitrina Petrova, formerly Dimitrina Dimitrova, recently married. Smaller girl, but if it comes to arm strength, very, very capable indeed, evidenced by that first pin. They square up. The start here is critical for both arm wrestlers. Here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, little drive there. Big oh, sweep wow. again. Pia there going for the same soup warmed over. And I don't think that would work. You're going to see much more side pressure and much more commitment on this hit from the Bulgarian. She's going to really attack more to the side. Pia needs to try to make some adjustments there. Close your hands. Go! On the way! Big drive! There's the pin! There it is. That was smooth, that was clean, that was clinical. That was the World Arm Wrestling League champion, Fia Racing, with a win. She looked it there in the last two. Down 1 0 to Dimitrina Petrova, comes back, and Fia Racing. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Fia Racing! We'll take on Michelle Dugan. In our women's battle royale final, we look back at Rysik in the pin, Neil. Yeah, let's look at that key to victory. The little angle there, the pressure to the side. She swept across, and just as Petrova starting to put the brakes on, that little extra press, little push off that lead leg, and it did the job for a very excited Fioresic. She comes through Indeed clean. Indeed, it did. So we'll step aside, take a time out here from Turner Studio when we come back. Here at WAL 406, Michelle Dugan will take on Fia Rysik in the Battle Royale final in the middleweight women's division. Stay tuned, we're back right after this on VR Live. And we welcome you back here to Atlanta, Georgia. Michael Todd, Devin Larratt, they're coming up in our main event sometime in the 10.30 to 11 o'clock range, Neil. That's the one you don't want to miss. You want to watch them all, but that's the one you want to stick around for. Indeed it is. There's no bigger match in the world of arm wrestling right now. Two guys who are riding a wave of intensity, and they're going to collide head on tonight in Atlanta. And that'll be our main event coming up later in our Final match of the night. Who's going to take home that championship hammer in the women's middleweight division? We'll find out momentarily. First, let's get an up-close and personal look and at-home look with Fia Rysik. My name is Fia Rysik, and I'm from Sweden. Here is the village where I grew up. I love Sturman. It's special because it's just my relatives here. And this is the house uh, where I grew up, my mother and father's house. This is my mother. Yeah, she's my hardest critic. She say, but you can't win if you don't train. <laughs> now I train. It's your fault. <laughs> so I love to come home and train with the school. My father was the trainer. We have 40 to 50 people here training hard. It's uh, in the heart and in the brain. We are the biggest club in Sweden. We have around 20 world champions. Their main purpose is to become an arm wrestler, good quality. So Sturman is like an arm wrestling mecca in Sweden. Sturman! My best training partner here is Heide Andersson. Me and Heide have been training since we started. When I started, I was 11. And I was seven. Heidi has won like 11 world champion titles. And she's my cousin too. Here we have our gym, outside the playground gym. This have definitely have been a part of the success. I have to do this. I want to win. <laughs> we tried other sports too, but we are we sucked at every other sport. <laughs> So a great look, a great look. So a great look there at Fia Rysik in her homeland. The tail of the tape, Neil, what do you make of that? You know, similar situation to what we saw earlier, but the stats are leveled out now. Michelle 
had a big size advantage in her first round match. Fia is a much bigger opponent, but he swings back to that experience, and that is the deciding factor. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the best of five final matchup in the women's middleweight battle royale between Michelle Dugan and Fia Rice. So there's the money on the table, Neil. The cold hard cash, and one of these two women will walk away with it here. It's what it all comes down to, Ben. And you know, in order to etch your name in the annals of history as an arm wrestler or any other sports person, you need that opportunity to present itself. That challenge, that mission impossible, that little element of it can't be done. Michelle Dugan is facing directly into that win now. She has an incredible opportunity to make a massive name for herself in the sport. Ladies to the table. She's fresh, she's ready, she's facing an undefeated okay, champion. Mm -hmm. And we haven't seen exactly what the Black Scorpion can do. Close your thumbs. Best Reality of, check. Yeah, no big pressure, time. No Best pressure. of five here in Close the your hands. women's final. You can see the power of Michelle Dugan's hand right there. Uh, even thoughts. had a little bit of concern for Fia. She's not going to try to make this Go. a brutal match. Oh, wow. There it is. Maybe she is. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Talk about your old time backfires. Wow. <laughs> hey, yeah. it happens, man. Wow, Fia right hey. there. That was impressive, Neil Pickett. It was indeed. I mean, that was, she felt something there. She felt the commitment from Michelle and drove her straight off the bone line. That's the linear position between the wrist and shoulder, and you can see she just took her out of that. As Michelle started to advance to the side, she was driven to a horrible angle. one nothing lead for Fia Rysik. She needs three to win it. 90 seconds between poles, both women in their respective corners. Interestingly there, Sarah Rotunda working in the corner of Fia Rasik, um, multiple world champion. We'll probably get a look at uh, that young lady next year, I imagine, another monster from Sweden. <laughs> Produce some great... There she is right now, great Sarah female Rotunda. arm wrestlers over there. <laughs> they do, mate. I mean, so many, so many of them there. It, it, in most countries, people think of arm wrestling as being a male-dominated sport, not in Sweden. They've got cultural icons over there like Pippi Longstrump, Pippi Longstockings, a young girl who's dominating in strength. Yeah. You know, that's uh, it's ingrained into the DNA. And great arm wrestling ladies grow on trees in Sweden. To the table, ladies. Storm Cellino there was helping out Michelle Dugan. Rysik with a one nothing lead. It's very difficult to see a way back into the match for Michelle, but she, she's got to be proud of her performance so far. She needs to try and keep very calm. And she needs to try and make her hand do the work. No, she's outgunned there, Ben. I mean, that, there's no failing on Michelle's part there. She did nothing wrong. She's just a little outgunned tonight. Yeah. That's the sport, you know. Thea Lasek is a very unique individual. She's the best of the best, and it looked like it right there. She's leading by two, smooth. It's looked like it in the last two pulls. Yeah. Storm Cellino, we'll see him in a little bit later against Rob Vigit Jr. helping out Michelle Dugan right now as we look back, Neil. Yeah, I mean, it's really not a lot to analyze there. This is quite brutal arm wrestling. That, w there wasn't any real technical finesse there from Fia. She's felt at this stage of the match that she can dominate in power, and she's just doing just exactly what we expect. Once you feel that hole, why run away? Run right through it. She's, she's running towards the light, Ben, and it's right there. Yeah. Time between pulls down to 45 seconds. Big experience here for Michelle Dugan. I mean, it's not often you get to face somebody of this caliber, and particularly in North America, she's unlikely to encounter anybody of this ability level. Needs to try and reflect on it and see where she can sharpen her game following this match. A very relaxed Theodacic, a very pensive Michelle Dugan. Yeah. Time ticking away, 15 seconds remaining. Michelle Dugan's husband looking on. Hoping her wife can find a way to get one here to stay alive, or else Rysik takes the cash. 
She takes the hammer. Yeah, and uh, whilst you would will Michelle Ohm here to try and pull something out of the bag, it, it's hard to see a way back. It really is. She's um, losing in a lot of areas here. Close your hair. Fia uh -uh, I starting to get into a stride now, as you can see. She's, she's relaxed, Ben. We saw Fia when she was Close your focused thumb. and fast off the start. She's almost allowing Michelle to Go. initiate. And I think, yeah, she's stonewalling it. Yeah. Here, she's just letting Michelle. And that's nice of Fia in a way. She's not doing that to belittle her opponent. She's allowing Michelle to feel what's there, to try and feel that angle, and then roll through. Party time for ASIC. It's in the bank. It is in the bank, and it's in her hands right now. Take that back to Sweden, and Fia Rysik comes stateside again and, and takes care of business, Neil. Here's how she did yeah, it. Yeah, that's an awesome performance, Ben. I mean, her hand and wrist was so dominant throughout there, but she was also the stronger girl. She won every critical battle, and that was a very deserving win. Came through in an early test with Petrova. Yes. Great result. Petrova got the first one. Rysik, she took the next five poles she was involved in. She's now down with Jason Fisher. Fia, congratulations. A dominating performance here tonight. It seems like no one's been able to even come close to you in this sport. Is that true? What's, what's next for you? Oh my God, I, I had so much trouble <laughs> all the way, uh, especially with the Dimitrina. She was tough. Yeah. yeah. Any message you'd like to say to your friends and family back home in Sweden who are rooting you on and watching right now? Yeah, I want to say go to bed and sleep. <laughs> and thank you for letting me do this. It's, uh, I'm very thankful. It's amazing. And finally, any last message to all the little girls out there who are here tonight and who are watching who want to get into the sport of competitive arm wrestling? Yeah, can, they can do anything. What they want, they can do anything. <laughs> Live the dream. <laughs> Amazing. Well, you're living proof. You are living your dream. Let's bring up your championship hammer. Congratulations, Fia. Thank you. Thank you. Give it up one more time for Fia. Amazing.